Hi, everybody, and welcome to the TWF Impact Wrestling. And today on Impact Wrestling, the merger and acquisition have occurred. The Trump Organization and the, Con and the Toy Wrestling Federation a merger and acquisition has occurred. And because of that, we have a new owner. A strong, a Corona and Eclipter only have one only have fifty percent of ownership, and Donald Trump has one hundred has fifty percent of ownership as well. So we'll hear from the one of the new owners of the Toy Wrestling Federation after this match. We all know that the Chief Executive Officer Aladdin and Chief Operating Officer Princess Jasmine, Chief Grand Officer Steve Austin are still in their positions and Donald Trump has already met with them. Commissioner Godzilla and Director of Operations Shrack have been met with, and so has General Manager Zena and Executive Administrator Gabrielle. Well, we're going to hear in a tournament for the TWF World Heavyweight Championship tournament, the second round of it, Gil Kim advanced over Batman, and Al Jack Sparrow had advanced over Montel Retadius Porter, and she has Blaine in his corner. Beaming here it goes. We're starting the match here. Blaine already got on the apron. Oh, the and Jack Sparrow already knocked him off. The referee. Oh! Gil Kim already do it. Eat the feet. Oh! The interference by Blaine. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Here is your winner. And still advancing into the TWF. Tournament is uh, Gil Kim. Wait a minute, the referee says, nope, that ain't happening. We're starting the match again. Blaine, you get out of here. The referee has restarted the match again because of Blaine's interference, and Blaine's been rejected. Gil Kim tried to do it again. Jack Sparrow punched her, knocked her down. Jack Sparrow calls us the pirate way. Oh! Will he do it? One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Here is your winner, Captain Jack Sparrow. Captain Jack Sparrow is advancing his tournament over Gil Kim after the referee decided to restart the match because of Blaine's interference. You might make an argument you might make the argument, folks, that the referee might be trying to, you know, might be trying to, might be trying to show favor with the new ownership. Well, coming up next, folks, we're going to have to see if we can find. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, we're going to hear from the new owner of the Carnival Wrestling Federation, I mean, my mistake, the new owner of the Toy Wrestling Federation, Donald Trump. Well, uh, thank you, everybody. I'm happy to be here, Donald Trump said. As you know, my organization, the Trump Organization, that we own amusement parks, we own casinos, we also do a lot of things in real estate entertainment, and you know that my Trump Plaza has hosted WrestleMania for and four and five. I'm also in the W Hall of Fame and also I'm also was a host of the Apprentice Show and I also was the former general manager of Raw for two weeks. Now everybody might ask themselves, what does the Trump organization merger with the Toy Wrestling Federation mean? Now Corona and Eclipdor still hold fifty percent of controlling ownership and I own 50%. So it's going to be pretty fun to see how the three of us are going to work together as the, as the new owners. Now, first off, I've already met with the people in charge. I already met with the Chief Executive Officer Aladdin and Chief Operating Officer Princess Jasmine. I met with Chief Brand Officer Steve Austin. 
I also met with Executive Vice President of Talent Relations, Holt Hogan, and Executive Vice President of Creative, Theodore Long. I already met with Executive Vice President of Television Production, Eric Bischoff. I met with Commissioner Godzilla and Director of Operations, Shrek. And I also met up with Commission General Manager Zena and Executive Minister Gabrielle. And also Vicky Guerrero as the general manager of the women's division. Even though most people know me as a man who pretty much understands the interworkings, I'm here to tell you that, that we have to make some changes, people. You know, the, current, the Toy Wrestling Federation has been, has been around for 22 years, you know, but it's never been underneath Trump management. So, and I also met with the board of directors, Vince Kamicki and Shane Kamicki, and I met with them as well, as, as well with Corone and Eclipdor, my partners, you may make argument. And we are going to start to make some serious changes. Change number one, heels will not be longer going to be cheating in matches. I've already told Commissioner Godzilla and General Manager Zena about that. I already told Chief Executive Officer Aladdin and Chief Officer Princess Jasmine, we aren't going to let wrestlers be cheating in matches. If a wrestler is cheating in a match, the referee has the decision to restart the match or award the match to the one to the cheated party. It don't matter if they're a heel or face, we ain't going to have the heels be cheating over the faces. What you just saw in the match with Captain Jack Sparrow and Gail Kim, that's the new policy we're putting into effect. Another one that we're going to do is, another policy we're bringing in, into this here, is that another thing that I'm going to do as one of the owners of the Toy Wrestling Ferris, and another thing that we're going to do here is that I'm thinking about this, folks. This might be great. We don't know. We have to start out a new pay-per-view. You know, we have not been doing pay-per-views for a long time. So sometime this year, before this year is out, we're going to have ourselves a pay-per-view. Now, you people might ask yourself, exactly how did this merger and acquisition occur so quickly? Well, it's been in the works, people. You know, we've been trying to inquire the Toy Wrestling Federation for at least a long time. The merger was in the works of last year, and it recently was approved. So, oh, Donald Trump, Aries says. You happen to be one of the new owners of the Toy Wrestling Federation. So maybe you can hear me out. So I can actually go over Gabrielle, Zena, Shrek, and Godzilla's heads. I can go over, even go over Princess Jasmine and uh, go over Aladdin's head. I can go over Steve Austin's head, too. I can go over Crony Clipdoor's head. I'm a cheated party, Harry says. Last week, I was the TWF World Heavyweight Champion, and I was a cheated party, Mr. Trump, because I got stunned by the Chief Brand Officer, Steve Austin, twice. Zena, the General Manager, allowed Daniel Bryan to come in the ring and beat me one, two, three. Yeah, I saw that. And don't be trying to say that you were the injured party because you weren't. You brainwashed Zena. You got what was coming to you. Now, if you don't get out of my face, Aries, I'm a very busy man. And if you don't get out of my face, I'm going to tell you what I tell everybody on the show, Apprentice. You mean, you basically mean the words you stole from Vince McMahon? Well, I'm the one that made the words more better than he did. You know? So if you excuse me, I already put somebody in charge that I all excuse me, if you have any grievances, you're gonna take it up with Godzilla and Shrek or Gabrielle or Zena.
And I really thought you'd be a great guy, Mr. Trump. I really thought I am a great guy. And you're starting to piss me off now, Aries. You want to know what happens? You're starting to make me upset. Because you cheated. You brainwashed Xena. You got what was coming to you. Only there was no cheating in the match. The match itself, there was no cheating. I'm telling you right now, give me a return match. You're fired. Get out. You're fired, Aries. Apparently, Donald Trump has already fired. Aries already pissed him off. Pit already upset at him, and Aries is fired. Me? Fired? Am I fired, Aries says? What the hell? No one does that to me. No one does that to me. You're going to pay for that. I'm going to get my return match with Daniel Bryan. Well, people, I guess that's all the time we got here for Impact Wrestling. And we'll see you tomorrow for Explosion.